Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Jin Wing. And he's having trouble getting the animated SV enemies working correctly, and I've sent him uh, many, many paragraphs of, of text. But uh, if you're having trouble, I'm going to just walk you through it. Maybe you need to see it done visually. It's super easy what you're asking. He, he's looking for uh, how to make your enemies float and how to make them breathe. So really all you need to do is make sure you have the right plugins. Make sure you, you have your plugins updated. So make sure that they're this version that you see here. Um, here's what you'll need. You'll need Yanfly's core engine. You're going to need Yanfly's battle engine core. You're going to need uh, Yanfly's expansion action sequence pack 2. But what I recommend is getting the core engine, the battle engine, all three of the action sequence packs, um, probably the vis visual ATB, and, uh, or if you're using the ATB system, uh, and HP gauge, because you want HP gauges, just trust me, get it. Um, you will need the expansion animated SV enemies. So, required this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now check the versions, make sure you have the right versions. Point, uh, 1.1 for core engine, 1.25B for the battle core engine, uh, 1.06 for the action sequence pack 2 and your your SV enemies just basically came out and check check you know daily or, or every other day because Genfly updates his plugins every single night so um, when they add when uh, he's adding new features sometimes you have to update the previous uh, plugins for those features to work especially if it's an expansion you see the X right there lets you know that it's dependent on another plugin so if you have if you've got the the battle engine core but you don't have version 1.25b it may not work correctly so once you have uh, all of those plugins and you can go to yanfly.mo and i'll put a link in the description below where you can go where you can directly link there um and download them once you have them uh, open up the help file everything you need to know is conveniently set up optimized in the plugin already but if you want to change stuff around you can uh look through here and get everything you need um, the only thing that I've really messed with is the floating and uh, and adding side view battlers um, I, I'll show you how to do that as well too since uh, this is pretty simple plug uh, explanation here <clears throat> get all these plugins um, and then go to your um, database and then go to your enemies make sure that you have uh, under systems that you're using side view battle otherwise it's not work the side view battle uh, uh, enemy animated enemies so uh, go to your enemies and s set in note tags like example for the bat that you, you saw floating up and down all you have to do is type in uh, floating make sure you put a capital F and make sure you spell everything correctly and put your brackets you don't even need a closing bracket and it'll float up and down um, if you want to rescale an enemy uh, this if you've seen my um, let's make a game series you see that at first this enemy was the size of the whole freaking screen but uh, I've scaled them down to 65%. So if you want to scale an enemy up or down to make the graphic look bigger or smaller, you would just put, uh, put in brackets scale sprite with a space in between the colon and then the percentage that you want to scale it. So that's to make it smaller. To make it bigger, you would just do the same thing but with the number past 100%. Um, for your random enemies, let's see, I think, the yeah, the bandits. So um, when, you, uh, when you want to have an enemy uh, look like a player, so I, let me just show it to you really quickly. So let's go to a map. Not this one because it's going to autoplay. That one too. That one too. Yeah, here we go. So we'll put our, our player starting position right here. Um, we're going to start a new event and I'll just have it start a battle with the, the um, bandits real quick. Battle processing with our bandits. And we'll have four just to show them off. So when we get in, in uh, a battle, you're going to have random, random looking enemies, and they'll be animated. They'll also have, oh, they're going to kill me really quickly, but it's okay. They'll also have random weapons. That one has an axe, that one's got a gun, that one's got another axe, and that one's got an axe. But they could be, have any, uh, any number of, of the first eight that I've selected. So we'll go back into the database, and uh, I'll show you 
what the the note tags are oops sorry about that what the note tags are are specifying so when you want a, a side view battler to have um, uh, 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 and sorry uh, what's it called a sprite you know a, a battler sprite what you're gonna do is go to your character generator get the sprite you want um, once you have it go to battler and then export that so um, let's see did I type in random what was it yeah so this will be 13 so t give it a name it doesn't really matter um, what you call it exactly as long as you reference that so once you've named it copy this name you don't need the extension so just press control C now it's copying random SVB underscore 13 we're gonna save that now where you save it is important because it's an enemy right but we're saving it under SV actors so that may be where if you're having trouble if you're not getting this working right so if you want it to look like uh, an actor in, as an enemy you don't put it in SV enemies you've got to put it in SV actors so save that under SV actors once we've got that exported, then you go to the enemy that you want to uh, to replace. So it doesn't matter what I put. If I put this uh, graphic, it's it's not going to use this graphic. If I put this graphic, it's not going to use this graphic at all. None of these graphics are going to be used. This is a placeholder. I don't even know if you need a graphic here. I just give it an image there. Image there. But basically, you're going to go. Um, we'll paste our the name. We're going to type in brackets as you see above it. Side view space battler colon the name of the file this is that the the name that I gave that file that I put in the SV make sure you close the bracket now when um, I get into a fight with this bandit the, the character I just created is it has a chance to spawn um, and if you want your enemies to have random weapons you just add another uh, note tag that says side view weapons and, and then the number of the weapon and I think there's more than eight but I just went with eight and I said that's probably good enough <clears throat> so that's it for that part. Um, if uh, I already talked about scaling, talked about uh... yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> so hopefully this helps you, Shin Wing. Um, if anybody else has any special requests, put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being awesome. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next tutorial.